Hey, welcome to the 1st of December 2020. I'm Jennifer Roberts and you're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44, BitChute, True Divine 44, uh, Facebook business page, True Divine 44, and Instagram and Twitter, it is The True Divine. Any like, share, subscribes, follows, greatly appreciated, and it helps me with my business, as I hope I'm helping you with free content that I put out on the daily, as much as I can anyway. Um, this is where I combine the energy work that I do and the tarot work that I do to bring a narrative to you, to help you guide your day, help you realize the energies that you may feel within, around you, and indeed within others, um, to help you make the best out of each day leave a comment as to how it resonated with you or what you're noticing that correlates with the readings they're always helpful not just for me uh, to read and get to know more of you but also for others that read the comments to um, correlate other other energies with other energies and build an even bigger picture an even bigger knowing of current goings on or current ways of feeling current energy flows that are going through us all so for the first of december 2020 um Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups for the first card. So this speaks of the, the need to let go. Um, something that you were once passionate about or going towards something that you are newly passionate about or newly accepting of the passion that you have for it. Um, but there's this need to let go of something that has been emotionally draining, that has been emotionally, just like, a, I don't know, a... a a well, a bottomless well, that it, no matter what you put into it, no matter what emotions you put into it, um, no matter what tears or even sweat you put into it, any of your waters, it just has never been enough or it hasn't been enough for a long time. So this might speak to relationships for some of you. It might speak to just a, a, a way of thinking, um, a belief system that you have have been emotionally linked to um, any energetic emotional cords that that are uh, the the energetic cords that are built from um, what were once passionate emotions or or emotional ties, um, but aren't any longer. And so a lot of you, if this resonates, you've been putting off this decision to let go or walk away for a long time. And, and the times come really where it, it's very difficult to stay um, in the Eight of Cups without walking away. However, it resonates with you, whatever part of your life it is that you feel you need to let go of and walk away onto something new onto horizons new now the good thing about this is to clarify this eight of cups we have the nine of cups so when you eventually do this when you're brave enough to um let go of that that you're being led to let go of that you want to have wanted to let go of for quite some time it doesn't mean that you're doing it with a glad heart I don't think it doesn't mean that you're doing it even with relief right now this is a transition of letting go it's a process um it, it means that but with the nine of cups being there it, it it shows you that there is anointing in that there is healing in you walking away from that that has been draining you emotionally that has been taken taken away from your waters distorting the crystals in your waters lowering your blur in your frequency all of a sudden when you are sorry you get a tickly nose sometimes when i'm messaging um all of a sudden you're in a place of um, knowing that you may not feel complete relief at first, but you can see the horizon. You can see the horizon of feeling relieved, of feeling lighter, of feeling more um, symbiotic with self, you know, not, not in so much conflict. Now, one thing to, as a, as just a little heads up about this, is that going through this process of, of knowing that you need to let go, but having difficulty in doing so, don't turn to drink, you know, don't turn to excess drinking to try and um, numb your way through this process, or you'll feel yourself getting zhoop, 
straight back into the same cycle again very very quickly um, because you're not thinking with a clear head you're not feeling the pain you're not allowing yourself to truly let go and go through the process and transition of letting go of something that is upsetting to let go of uh, that is difficult to let go of that has emotional ties um, to it uh, to do that would be to waste the pain you know because you're going to end up having to feel it again at some point but probably to a greater scale probably with a lot more heartache in the future and so to to put a plaster over it with excess drinking would not be the best advice ever it would not be the way to go at all um also it distorts your decision making it distorts your ability to be discerning and you're going to need that discernment you're going to need that clear head and that fortitude um to go forward with this if this resonates with you we have the hermit card for this next card and this speaks to the silent warrior and um, the warrior that goes within for me he has no sight with these two eyes it is all with this intuitive eye it is all with this is the is the blind warrior but the all-seeing warrior in that he goes into your darkest corners with this lantern um, and just silently holds up and of course the hermit is you um, holds up this lantern in the corner until you're brave enough to face it and it might feel like you going into yourself and then you come running back out terrified because there's something in that corner that got you into the position of accepting something emotionally that wasn't good for you in the first place and so it might take a little while to to get used to being this warrior this hermit who is not afraid of self, even the darkest corners, who is not afraid to look at what needs to be looked at, to transmute. This is the start of you tossing over your internal soil, um, airing it out, taking out any fungus that is that is overgrown in there, that is that is not doing you any good, that is creating more problems in your life than good. Um, and it's the acceptance of avoidance is no longer the key. Now, that's being said with the eight of cups here being brave enough to let go you're going to the nine of cups now this is the number nine also this major arcana so doing this what doing these steps of walking away letting go emotionally um and truly um getting into the energy of the hermit although it might not feel enjoyable at first it might not feel um like you can do it at first you can um this is what the promise is the the happiness the abundance the the anointing the nine um knowing more of self knowing thyself and healing thyself um so you no longer need to rely on others to um, feed you emotionally and you're no longer actually a drain on others emotionally because you are learning how to look at yourself honestly and look at what emotional bonds and ties you're making from your broken place um, and how what the difference is when you make emotional bonds and ties from a whole place from a place that you've been honest about and looked at and transmuted and so that being said to clarify this hermit card which is why i said it won't feel easy is the three of cups in reverse now often when we are going through the hermit energy the hermit is a clue in that you know you need time to yourself you need time to be able to process things you might be a little bit snappy until you get a hold of your elements you might be a little bit um short tempered or you might be a little bit weepy your body might need to um transmute a lot of energy through tears um this is a private card this is a private it's the, your inner world it's your most hidden world um it's the world that you've even hidden from yourself in many cases and so that being said there might be some conflict in friendships or in close family members that you're in close proximity to now on one hand lockdowns are a gift in this hermit energy because it gives you all the excuses in the world to be the hermit and to have lots of time to be the hermit but on the other hand if you're locked down with other people in a small space i can see why this would be difficult and so honesty is the key um to be brave enough 
to speak out what you are doing, what you're feeling urged to do, that you may be silent for a few days, that you may be in your own head, in your own space for a few days, that you may need time out in the garden, on the balcony, in the yard, whatever you've got, um, just by yourself. Even if you have children, children understand more than you know. And so to explain this fully is a good thing for them to start learning from an early age that they can heal themselves, the things that have upset them, whether it's bullying, whether it's worries, whether it's pimples, to know that they don't have to be afraid of themselves, to know that they can see an older sibling or a parent or an aunt or an uncle, being honest about the fact that I know I've got parts of me that I haven't been honest with myself about. I know I've got parts of me that I need to look at and change. And so this is why I might be a bit quiet or reserved or need some time alone. You know, children appreciate that and it actually gives them um, a, a step up, um, a, a level up in their understanding of self. And you're actually helping them learn from a young age that they are empowered. They're not a victim. They're empowered to look at themselves, to heal themselves, to change what they need to change about themselves, what they want to change. And so this is um, this is key for somebody to hear today, to not be afraid to be honest with your children, to not try and put a veneer on it. Um, obviously, you know, you have to control your elements enough that children won't get scared. You can't be screaming, you can't be um, shouting, but you know, to, to, to see a few tears is normal. But to see a few tears without an explanation to a child is frightening to see a few tears of an adult that they love and admire um, with an explanation to that, then that gives them the acceptance that, okay, sometimes it's okay to shed a few tears if I'm feeling sad or vulnerable, or sometimes my body just needs to do that. So you're giving them keys, you're giving them knowledge from a young age through doing this. Nothing is wasted here. Um, you, can, you can reverse it around and change it around to, to, to suit children in particular through honesty with them. Now, with the Three of Cups being in reverse, this does speak back to relationship lovers um, also in that there's, there's that, that Eight of Cups, that needing to let go that you've been putting off for a long time maybe. Um, it's some things may come to the fore. You might just all of a sudden click and get an understanding of this isn't working and it's not ever going to work the way it used to. Um, or some information might come forward as to um, as a prompt to say, yeah, you've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, so it, it, it does speak to conflict within that also. Um, again, honesty is the best policy um, you've gotten into this place through um, avoidance. And so to face it head on um, is the best policy. Um, there's nothing worse for another partner, whether they've wronged you or not, um, to not know where your head is at, to not know where the decision making is at. Um, to not know where the future is at. So honesty, again, will bring calmness to your need for calmness in order to be able to, to fulfill this hermit energy. Um, the next cards are powerful, and I can't say how, how powerful enough in that we've got the Empress card, the number three, Major Arcana, and then we have the Empress card, number three, Major Arcana. So six. Um, so we have here that, that where the three of cups is in reverse here, and then we've represented the two threes here. One, it makes the, the nine again being very important, the, the number nine, alignment, anointment. Um, abundance, relationships. Um, it also speaks of the, the divine and sacred message that we need to get through our heads, that we've become so laxy-daisy about everything and that the Empress 
teaches the energy of through our thoughts, our words and our deeds, we create our reality. So if you've been thinking for a long time, I'm emotionally trapped, I'm emotionally triggered, I'm emotionally anchored here, then you know that you're going to be for a long time emotionally trapped, emotionally triggered, emotionally anchored there. Um, so during this process of the hermit to speak powerful words over yourself and your reality and your liberation or release or ability to let go of whatever it is that you need to let go is imperative um, to, to start um, thinking honestly about self in that, you know, being able to speak honestly with self, being able to speak and have a dialogue with your inner self without any holes barred, with total and utter honesty will help you then be able to see where you've been going wrong regarding not harnessing your thoughts, your words, and then your deeds. Um, and again, it speaks to if this is an ending of a relationship, it speaks to being kind and compassionate about this, speak positively over those um, you're who you're needing to let go of you know speak kindly don't be gossiping about them don't be saying nasty things about them um you know even if they are throwing back at you not so much of the same attitude this is for your own self more than anything and for them also but this is for your own self you you can't be cluttered up right now when you've got this desperate need to do this hermit card energy with endless squabbles, with lowering your frequency by saying negative words, whether it's about yourself or a partner or whoever else or whatever else you're having to emotionally let go of. Um, so that's a super important message. Now, what else did I want to say about um, the, the Empress card? With this being a six, if you look at the number five um, and then you look at the number six, the six pointed star, this, the two Empress cards are obviously divine feminine, sacred divine feminine energy. Um, and 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 the knowing how to to use your 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 inner self to create your outer reality. Now once you're doing that once you create in your inner wants and needs or, or um, subconscious wants and needs into your reality, then we convert it into the six, the divine masculine, the action phase, the physical manifestation of the divine feminine energy of five. And so it speaks again to the eight of cups at the start of this reading. Take action. And you start with that action in your inner plane, in your inner self. But you must not um, backtrack and, and try and avoid this eight of cups here, this letting go, this walking away. And um, this will be detrimental to you and all of those involved around you. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card, but it's in reverse. And so this speaks of um, trying to avoid the unavoidable. Um, serious decisions needing to be made in your life to follow a certain path, to follow a certain um, um, energy, to follow a certain knowing, yet you are putting obstacles up in the way that, that, that you, you create in sticky points to, to sort of almost be fearful to take on board who you really are and what you're here to do. Um, so again, with this energy to maintain fortitude and strength in order to um, get past this little damaging little inner voice that you've had going on for so long in this situation that has been telling you to procrastinate, to put it off, to there's worry about this, worry about that. And what about the finances that are all tied up in this situation? Um, so in order to, to do that, you need to be able to take on these two Empress card energies. Use your divine feminine energy to be compassionate to self and those around you. 
Use your divine feminine energy to be as honest as a mother would be with you. A good mother will be able to um, look at a child lovingly when they're doing well and when they're on the spirit path. Um, and then also look at a child with wrath and absolute honesty when they are not, when they're avoiding something. Um, so, so be the mother to yourself first, and then that will exude out into your um, physical reality and the people around you. Um, what else? the divine masculine you have to you have to be in that capricornian energy of of being really good at, at knowing what is is time to let go of knowing what it, it's knowing what um what the time is regarding anything you know and not being so connected to it emotionally especially when i feel a lot of the emotional connection to whatever the emotional connection is to however it resonates with you is built up on from a broken place um you know you maybe met years ago when you both had similar things going on and um, that's a for instance uh, life has changed, you know, you've evolved, um, things move on, different, different things come into play. Um, but the procrastination is doing nothing but damaging your inner grounds, and therefore all of the relationships involved in this around you. So it's important to then take on the masculine energy of taking the action getting over whatever hurdles or obstacles that are in the way of you moving forward. Um, so that's really important. Now it does on the bottom of the other deck have the five of swords. Um, you know, there's no, this isn't a fight of winners and losers, but I've got a feeling if this resonates with you, there's going to be somebody in your life that, um, that you know wants to feel like they're winning or or wants to cause conflict that actually has very little to do with the major problem um and more just uh, as a buffer to to avoid the major problem but keep you tied up emotionally and mentally with this conflict with this never-ending conflict that nothing is going to be resolved here um, nothing is going to get done here again the advice is to not get mixed up in that i know that that is easier said than done in situations like this but you know to not get involved in this you need to be in your inner grounds um you need to be working at um creating um a, a more beautiful with these empress cards a more beautiful environment for yourself um a more beautiful thought pattern um an abundance mentality um a wanting for more um a, a, not a longing for more just having that drive to know that you are able with your thoughts your words and your deeds to create a reality that you truly do enjoy now again this is an important lesson for helping the collective it's these kind of things that as a collective we've gotten so good at procrastinating on and not not getting on with it and creating unbalanced um emotional distorted ties um with things that don't aid us and then we feed that energy out into the collective when these energies come up in our lives and give us the opportunity i know it might not feel like it but the opportunity and the gift to realize where we've gone wrong and to um course correct uh, then you know we are putting out the energy of the hermit warrior the inner warrior that we are able to not have to look for outside saviors we know we save ourselves we know we can look at ourselves heal ourselves be honest with ourselves and with the empress card we are putting out that energy of knowing that actually we create the reality that we live in and um, so if you can see if people as many people as possible in the collective were doing these kinds of things in their individual life on a collective stage we wouldn't be where we are at today it would be impossible it would not be happening so as many people who can take these lessons as and when they crop up in their lives um and work on them in in a way that is enlightened emboldened empowered um then we are putting out a different 
feed. We're, we're, you know, we're given a different biofeedback. We are um, putting out a much more powerful stance. And all of the things that we're experiencing today, this coup, this takeover, poof, gone. It wouldn't happen, couldn't happen. Because there's not that it has to, they have to be able to implant their agenda somewhere, somehow in our brokenness, in our inner grounds, for us to then manifest their reality. But the more people that are doing this kind of thing, though it might feel difficult, not so nice at all, um, the enlightenment and power and that you feel at the end of it of knowing that you are divine and you are sovereign and you are able to create your own reality through your thoughts and through your words, through your deeds, is a super powerful energy to be put in out there. So I hope that helps you. If this resonates with you, you can do this. Um, it, it's necessary and you can create, um, don't let that inner voice of, well, what if you do, do take these steps to um, go within and recreate your physical, um, your physical reality that you would want, that you desire, um, and it doesn't happen. It, you can it's just how it is it's what happens when you when you work on this and go through these steps it just is so you can do this you've got this you've got this in the bag you just need to be taking the um, brave steps towards it so much love and stay balanced and stay whole you definitely will do if you can follow this um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, any energy workout sessions or any spiritual guidance sessions, you can email me at truedivinemedia at gmail.com or you can hit me up on a private message, Facebook, True Divine 44 and let me know which session you are after and we'll get you hooked up ASAP. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Have a great 1st of December. Mwah.